Hi, in this video we're going to learn how to download data for the Behind the Label project step 2. Uh, this is the United Nations Conference of Trade and Development website and we're going to download data from this website. If you can't find this website, I've already included the URL in our instruction document. And then before this step, you should already know your SITC code for your clothing. Now you can look it up in the U.S. International Trade Commission's website. The URL has already been included here too. In this website, if you scroll down, you can find the data center. So click on the data center. That takes you to the website. Um, in this website, um, the database includes um, a variety of data sets for international economics. What we are going to use is a table under a uh, first folder under the International Trade in Goods and Services and then trade structure by partner product and our survey category and then the second table named detailed products exports in thousands of US dollars annual. Now the reason we use the export table instead of the import table is that export table is normally considered more accurate for the reasons we mentioned in class. Now if you click on that table, now that takes you to the default layout of the export data. Now the, in the uh, in default layout, you see that all the columns are the years, and all the rows are regions and continents. Now this is not the layout we want to download, so we have to modify this table. Now remember, we have to create three graphs for our project. Our first graph is going to be the top 10 countries which import that code from the country you focus on in the most recent year. So you may notice that I use Microsoft Edge instead of Google Chrome. So the reason I don't use Google Chrome is that uh, this website is not designed for Google Chrome. So if you use Google Chrome, you might have some problems when you try to modify this table. Um, <coughs> you can use um, I believe you can also use Safari or Firefox, but it's just not Google Chrome. So we need to modify this table um, first by changing the product. Now you see that the product now is all products. So we want to change that to the product that we're going to study. So you can do that by clicking the product. That takes you to the modification page. Now in the modification page, uh, you have um, all these products being selected. First, we need to clear the selection. You can do that by click the cross, this button, clear all. Now you see that when your mouse is on that button, it highlights the levels you are going to affect. Now in this case, we're going to affect the bottom layer. So all these all these products are going to be affected. So we're going to clear all these. And then we're going to find the specific product that we're going to study. Now in this case, um, I already opened the um, US ITC, US International Trade Commission website. Uh, the URL has already been included in the document as well. So if you go to this website, if you scroll all the way down, you can find all the clothing categories. So all the clothing categories start with the digit A4. Now, in this case, I'm going to use A41 as our example. So this is men's and boys clothing of woven fabrics. Now the difference between the woven fabric and knitted fabrics 
is that the woven fabrics are usually the fabrics that cannot be stretched. So for example, uh, men's shirt, uh, dressing shirt, um, are usually um, uh, are usually unstretchable. Now, um, as opposed to men's shirts, women's leggings are usually pretty stretchy. So women's leggings are usually um, <coughs> 844. So uh, women's clothing needed. So in this case, we're going to use 841. And then um, we're going to use the description for the keywords. Because the UNCTAD website updates frequently. Sometimes it allows you to use code for searching. Sometimes it doesn't. So in this case, we're going to use the keyword. So I know the keyword, which is men's clothing. And then I hit search. The first one, men's clothing of textile fabrics, not needed. This is the one that we're going to study. So we're going to check that box. <coughs> Now that you know, um, uh, now that you fix the, pr the product, the next step is uh, to change the economy and then partner. Now in this case, economy stands for the exporter, the partner stands for the importer. The first graph we're going to create is the top 10 countries which import that code from the country you focus on in the most recent year. <coughs> So in this case, we want the rows to be the importers because we want these to be the countries which import the code from the country you focus on. So to do that, we have to move our mouse to the um, left end of the partner. And then it shows click to drag. So I'm going to click on that and drag that up to replace the economy. So now I can change the partners by clicking on the partners. So um, in, um, in default, uh, you're going to have individual economies selected. Now this is not what we want. Um, by default, individual economies doesn't actually show the individual countries. So in this case, we're going to again clear all selection and then select the second level by clicking this button, select the level. You'll see that this level is going to affect all these, all these check boxes. So we're going to select. And then you see that all these countries are selected. The next step is to change the economy. Because we want to study only one economy, so we don't want individual economies to be selected. So again, we're going to clear all. Now in this case, I use Cambodia as an example. So let's say I want to study Cambodia's export of code 841 to all the countries. So I'm going to search for Cambodia. So I'm going to check Cambodia. <coughs> so now you have Cambodia is the exporter. Uh, men's clothing unneeded is the product. And the individual countries is partner. So we're going to show the table. So you can click this button to show the table. And this table gives you um, all the countries, individual countries, imports of men's clothing of textile fabrics not needed from the country of Cambodia. So we're going to download this table. You can do that by clicking this button um, on the top left. Um, we use a CSV file because we want to, um, if, we, if you want to uh, do the mapping uh, for the next step, uh, you have to use a CSV file. <coughs> so you click CSV file and then you download the data and then you save the data to the place you know. So, you download our first table for the project. <coughs>